morning, good morning everyone. So today is February 2, Tuesday. Time is exactly 7.15 in the morning. So I'd like to welcome you in my online uh, tutorial classroom. So do not forget to like, comment down, and subscribe my YouTube channel, Teacher Dex Channel TV. I'll be discussing with you today the direct current motors. This is still something to do with magnetism. So direct current or DC motor, it is a simple electric motor that needs a magnetic field torque to act on carrying conductor, thus converting electrical energy to mechanical energy. So I repeat converting electrical energy to mechanical energy okay it requires two magnets of opposite polarity and an electric coil opposite polarity we have north and south which acts as the electromagnet the repellent okay repellent and attractive electromagnetic forces of magnets provide the torque that is used to turn the shaft of a DC or direct current motor. So we're talking about the, the torque, okay? Now, every motor has a large number of loops of wire that are wound around an iron core. This loop of wire called an armature, okay? Which is placed between the poles of a magnet, okay? A commutator consisting of two circular rings that are attached to the armature and rotate with it makes possible the reversal of the current. Okay, how direct current motors work? Okay, a motor is an electric electrical machine which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. This principle of working of a DC motor or direct current motor is that whenever a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a mechanical force. So we're talking about magnetic force, we're talking about the electrical force, we're talking about magnetic field, and of course the relationship with the mechanical force because I've what I told you, a direct current motor, it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy so the direction of this force is given by Fleming's left hand rule okay okay and its magnitude is given by the equation which is F is equal to IBL sine theta so I'd like to show you our equation so for the force, we have IBL sine theta. So we have here, force is equal to IBL sine theta. So that's it. What is I? I is what we call the electric current. Okay. Current. Okay. What is B? That is a magnetic flux density okay which is the unit is weber per square meter magnetic flux density and what is l that is the length of the conductor okay within the magnetic field okay now i i the unit of i it could be an ampere but in the use of uh, if there is no ampere we can use the current which is q current and the unit of current is column. Therefore, we can say mathematically, uh, we can also say that force is equal to Q V B K L sine theta. Sine theta is the angle that we are going to use for this. Again, so here is the problem. Problem number one. A 125 centimeter long wire carrying a current of 30 ampere is placed at an angle of 30 degrees 
with a uniform magnetic field induction of 4 times 10 raised to negative 4 Weber per square meter. What force is exerted by the field on the current? So, ayan. So, what are you going to do with the first problem? We have to identify the given for problem number one. So, given R, we have here length, which is equal to 125 centimeter. And then, we have, we have current, which is equal to 30 ampere. We have angle, which is 30 degrees. We have also our magnetic field, which is equal to 4 times 10 raised to negative 4 Weber per square meter. Sa so, anong hinahanap? We have force. Okay? So, these are the given. So, let us try to see. Force is equal to I B L sine theta. So, I is of course 30 ampere. Okay? Convert po natin ito. So, convert po natin yung length. So, divide by 100. So, this becomes so 125 divided by 100. So, we have 1.25. So, we have 1.25 centimeters as meters na po siya. So, multiplied by the length which is Sorry, sorry. Following the formula, following our formula there is we have I or this is 30 ampere followed by the magnetic field which is 4 well, times 10 raised to negative 4 uh, Weber per square meter multiplied by length which is 1.25 meters multiplied by sine 30 degrees okay so sine 30 is 0.5 so what are you going to do we have to multiply this using calculator so we have here so sine 30 sine 30 is 0.5 multiplied by 1.25 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 30. So the answer is 75 times 10 raised to negative 4 Newton. Or we're going to have it move the decimal point. So we have 7.5 times 10 raised to, this is plus 1. So raised to negative 3 Newton. So this is your answer for problem number one. Okay, so we have here our second problem. A beam of electrons travel at right angles with a speed of 9.0 times 10 raised to 6 meter per second through a 4.0 times 10 raised to negative 2 Tesla uniform magnetic field. Letter A. What is the magnitude of the force if the electron has a charge of 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 column? For letter B, how much current does the beam carry over a 15 centimeter long wire? So, ayan. So, let us try to identify the given for our problem number 2. So, first we have the speed which is... 9.0 times 10 raised to 6 meter per second. Then we have our magnetic field, which is 4.0 times 10 raised to negative 2 Tesla. We have also our uh, charge, Q, which is 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 column. Then we have right angle, which is our angle, which is 90 degrees. 
Okay? So, letter A, ano ang unknown natin sa letter A? It is the force. For letter B, unknown natin is the current. Okay, so unahin mo natin, we have force is equal to Q, V, B, sine, theta. Okay? Q, sine, theta. Of course, we have here, also, we have our L here, length, which is 15 centimeters. So, divide natin. So, this becomes point zero, point 0.15 meters. So, QV, BL, sine theta. So, Q is we have 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 column multiplied by V, which is 9.0 times 10 raised to 6 meter per second. Okay? And uh, multiplied by... B, which is the magnetic field, which is 4.0 times 10 raised to negative 2 Tesla, multiplied by the length, which is 0.15 meters, then multiplied by sine 90 degrees. So, ano kayang mga yari dito? So, let us try to use our calculator. So, sine 90 is 1. So 1, this is 0. 0.15 times 4 times 9 times 1.6. So we have 864. Okay, 64. So we have 8.64 times 10. Okay, raise 2. So what are you going to do with this? So negative 19 plus 6 plus negative 2. So we have negative 15. So force is Newton. So this is our answer for question number 1, letter A. So pupunta naman tayo sa letter B. So letter B, we have our unknown is current. So, I. Okay. So, F is equal to I, B, L, sine, theta. So, divide both sides ng B, L, sine, theta. B, L, sine, theta. Cancel this. So, our equation is I is equal to F over B, L, sine, theta. Theta. So here our force here based dito po. So we will be using this force. So we have force is 8.64 times 10 raised to negative uh, 15 newton all over our B. Our B is 4.0 times 10 raised to uh, negative 2 Tesla multiplied by the length which is 0. 0.15 meters multiplied by sine 90 degrees so sine 90 degrees so pupunta tayo doon sa taas so that is sine 90 degrees is 1 multiplied by 0. 0.15 multiplied by 4 so the uh, so mayroon tayo dito so we have 8.64 times 10 raised to negative 15 newton over so sa ang product po nito is we have 0 0.6 times 10 raised to negative 2 okay so divide na po natin 8.64 divide by 0.6 so we have 14.4 times 10 raised to so negative 15 negative 15 minus negative 2 so we have negative 13 so anong hinahanap is uh, current so we have our answer must be in ampere 
since we have here so plus 1 so our answer must be 1.44 times 10 raised to negative 12 ampere so this is our answer for problem number 2 letter B so that's all for our tutorial this morning this day so if you like this video do not forget to like comment down and subscribe my youtube channel teacher Dex channel tv thank you everyone and god bless